Hey guys, Ben Infos here. Welcome to GTA San Andreas. Today we're going to do three missions, three side missions, I should say. The first one is the Vigilante mission. Later on, we're gonna do Fright Train, and afterwards, the gym moves. We have three gym moves to learn. So, let's begin with the Vigilante. As I go, I'm gonna mention something, I'm gonna explain what we have to do, why we do it, and how to do it in the most efficient way. So, let's go. Brown Thunder. Suspect has been seen. So, in this mission, we have to complete 12 levels in order to complete it. The biggest advice I can give you is not to fly over that base. Do not fly over that base. You're gonna be in trouble. So, first level done. Let's move on. Now, with each level, you're gonna get more suspects. The first few levels are have only one suspect. Afterwards, we're gonna get two, and later on, three. Three is the limit. And you have to kill up. The most, the best way to do this mission is in the Hunter. The Hunter is pretty much invulnerable to police. You're pretty much never gonna get police starts here. You could, of course, but... Yeah, it's a lot safer here. You avoid all damage from the criminals, from the police, from everybody. You can just fly around and just kill the people. As simple as that. This is why the Hunter is the best at this mission. I suggest getting it before you do the Vigilante. That's also the reason why I haven't done it yet. I unlocked Las Venturas not so long ago and now I'm doing it after so many episodes. Now I decided to do it. The reason is because the Hunter. The Hunter is the best here. Now you can do it in a huge variety of different vehicles. You can do it in the police car, in the police rancher, in the FBI rancher or whatever it's called, in the The swap tank is... Can you do it in a swap tank? I'm pretty sure you can do it in a swap tank. You can do it in the tank. You can do it in... In probably many more. I, I cannot uh, say all of them. But as I said, wait for to unlock the hunter. You get the hunter by completing all the gold... The flying school missions at gold. Getting a gold medal. You have to get a gold medal in order to unlock this helicopter and I suggest you do it as I said because look at it look at it it's, there's no trouble you can just do it so efficiently this way so fast I'm already at level 7 if you do it if you decide not to do it in the hunter I suggest the tank if you cannot do it in the tank I suggest the police bike With the police bike you can shoot in front of you in front of you is easier in my opinion. You're down. It's easy. Oh no, I didn't take your person? I missed some guy. It's okay. Let's go back. Ah, oh, I killed him. Yeah, with the police bike you can shoot in front of you. Which also makes it easier, but they can the criminals can shoot at you. But if you're in the hunter, you don't have that trouble. You don't have the problem. You can also continue on forever. You can get millions and millions of dollars. This is the best way of making bucks in the game. <laughs> Look at that guy. If you're gonna have a challenge, a race or something in this game for money, I suggest using the Hunter for this. The Vigilante missions. Oh, they flee. Kill the guys. Kill the guys. Ho ho ho. Awesome. As you can see, you get lots of money, 3200, and I'm only at level 9. Now, my record is probably around uh, 150, level 150. I'm gonna show you proof, by the way, after I finish this mission. What are you doing here, guys? After I finish this mission, I'm gonna give you guys proof of my record. Now, unfortunately, this game is buggy. It likes to crash sometimes. So, doing it infinitely is not a good thing because you are eventually gonna crash okay, because this game is crashy so in 2009 I decided to do it I decided to get the infinite amount of money which is 99999 something like 99 million I think is the max you can get I decided to go for that and I did 111 levels I decided to take a screenshot of these levels so I did. 
Afterwards, I played for about a half an hour more. And oh, you do it, you do it, you do it. I decided to play half an hour more, and the game crashed, and I couldn't make a screenshot of the last few levels. So technically, I have done only 111, which I can prove, but the other ones I cannot. A thousand bucks, holy crap, man! It's awesome. Also, in Vice City, you can do this in the Hunter as well, and I suggest doing it then, but the Hunter is very easily available at the very beginning of the game, before you do any other missions, you can do the Vigilante, but this Hunter is only obtainable after you do gold on the Flying School, and the Flying School is unlocked after the desert, after you unlock the desert, so you have to wait to do this, which is not a good idea if you are bad at the game, because you get increased amount of armor after completing this level, by 50%. If you want to be more protected, you should do the vigilante before you unlock the hunter, before you unlock any other series, because it's gonna help you a lot. Okay, there we go. Yeah, nothing to it guys, I hope you did do it this way. Okay, come here, come here, and you did. This level 12, as you can see, we have 3. 3 is the limit, 3 people. 9 people! Unfortunately, I cannot use my rockets now because I'm using the... the WASD keys. If I use my arrow keys, then I can do the... the rockets. Come on, dude. Oh, I have to switch to the... I have to switch to the arrow keys, unfortunately. Let's go. And you did. Oh man. Why at the very end, stupid? I cannot fly with the arrow keys. This is terrible. Okay. This went downhill. Serious. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. He's dead. And you did. And completed. Mission has been completed. Oh yeah. So you can continue, as you can see. Vigilante level mission 12 uh, level completed and you have increased your armor to max by 50% and I have 8 minutes to spare so what I'm gonna do is end this mission and I'm gonna show you the proof of my record. As you can see there it is, level 111, I cannot prove the other levels because I don't even know how many I have done afterwards. But yeah the game crashed after that and this is the only proof I have, this is from 2009. And in order, by the way, in order to complete this, in order to complete the game at 100%, you have to do 12 levels for Vigilante. So, what I'm gonna do now is go to San Fierro and do Fright Train. So, let's go to San Fierro. And welcome back. This is the Fright Train, the most boring mission in the entire game. What you have to do is get on this train. Come on, get out of here! Get out of there! And activate the mission. What you have to do is complete two levels of this mission. What you have to do in this mission is to deliver cargo. You have to circle around the, around the whole map of San Andreas. And all you do is this. Press forward and press back. That's the whole mission. Nothing to it. This mission sucks. Because it's so boring, there's no excitement, there's no challenge. What, you have, what I suggest is keeping the speed at about 45. 44, 45 is good. If you go above that, you could derail. And that's the only thing which is difficult about this mission. If you're nearing your destination, I suggest if you have like 300 or 400 meters if you're 400 or 300 meters away from your destination to stop just slow down start slowing down at 400 to 300 meters and if you don't get it directly if you don't stop directly at the spot you can you know go forward a little bit but if you surpass it you have to go back which is not a problem still so yeah Keep the speed at 44, 45, and you're gonna be all good if you go above that, if you go like 
50 or something, you can derail your train. And I don't suggest doing that, because the mission is gonna fail. And you don't wanna do this mission two times. If you don't, you don't wanna try two times, okay? Because it's so mega boring. So yeah, this is it for this mission, I'm gonna show you only one level. Because there's no point, there's absolutely no point in showing you more levels. Because it's so pointless, this mission sucks, it's so stupid. They should have done something with it. I mean, it could have been more exciting if they put something else, like cops chasing you. I don't know how that would work. Okay, as you can see, we're nearing our destination. At about 400 meters, I'm gonna stop. Okay, start slowing down. The speed is decreasing. Good, good, good. And let's see if I'm gonna stop directly at it. Ah, this is good, this is good. Okay. As almost, almost completely stopped at the destination. Okay, you can go now. Just start going. You get money, sure, but what's the point? You can get so much more money doing other things which are more exciting than this stupid thing. So you have to stop at the stations in each city. Now, in Las we have two. In Los Santos, we have two. Right? I think so, in San Fierro we have one. Yeah. If you make a full circle around the map, you can complete the level. So we have to complete it two times. There's nothing much to say here, I don't know what to talk about. Seriously, I was thinking about what I have to talk about during this mission. What can I talk about? Because it's so mega boring. I want to entertain you guys, I'm gonna stop he from here because I wasn't going that fast so I decided to stop, to start stopping a little farther away from the destination, so let's go slightly faster now and there's the marker and stop stopping okay in order to get the train, oh come on in order to get the train, you have to stop at one of these stations and wait for it. If you go inside of it, you can start the mission. It's so unfortunate that this mission is required for 100%. Seriously, this mission should not be required for anything. Nobody should look at it. But unfortunately, you have to. You have to pass it for 100%. Oh, nice camera angle. You cannot change the camera angle, by the way. They don't even allow you that. This mission is so limited. Pressing forward and pressing back. That's all there is to it. Sure, you have to look at your speeds. Go at about 44, 45, but... I don't know, man. It's so useless. I think from all the GTA games, this is the most useless one. In the most boring one. Oh, what's up with the, the graphics? Game, behave yourself. Yeah, probably from all the GTA games, the 3D GTA games, this is probably the most useless and the most boring one. I don't know, you guys see. The valid, sure, the valid parking is pretty boring, but there's some excitement there. In taxi, the taxi mission is also boring, but there's also some excitement. But here, there's nothing. Just go forward. You can make the taxi harder, you can make more police stars, you can, you know, get wanted or something. You can try different things. Here, mm, you cannot do anything. Yeah, so I don't know what to talk about. Seriously, I, I do not know. Do not know, man. So, let me talk about what I'm gonna do in the other videos, I guess. So, in this video, this is 28. Episode 28. So, let's start stopping. So, this is uh, episode 28. In this video, we're gonna do Vigilante, Fright, and the gym moves. The gym moves are also required, unfortunately. At least they have some excitement. Not this stupid thing. This stupid thing doesn't have excitement. So, we're gonna do Reese. Stop. Step, step, step. In the next episode, which is episode 29, we're gonna start doing 
story missions, not main story missions, but story missions, the one in San Fierro. We're gonna buy wank cars and do that. Do these missions in the next episode, all of these missions. And afterwards, in episode 30, we're gonna do vehicle exports. We have to export three lists, we have three lists in San Fierro, which are unlocked after wank cars. And we have to export vehicles, we have to deliver vehicles to a ship. So that's the plan for episode 30. For episode 31, I'm probably gonna have enough money for all the properties, so in episode 31 I'm gonna buy all the properties. And that's gonna be a full episode. Yeah, I'm not joking. I have prepared something special for that episode. That's why it's gonna require a full episode. You might think that I go from place to place, show the location and buy the property, but that's not exactly it. I'm gonna do something unique. Hopefully nobody has done it before. We shall see, but I don't want to spoil anything because I might not do it. <laughs> you know, this is just an idea. If it doesn't happen, I'm not gonna do it. Okay. So this is the second station. More on the videos later. So yeah, that's it for... That's it for now. Afterwards we're gonna have three videos of side missions, but they're gonna be after I complete some main story missions. So after the properties, I'm gonna do story missions, start them. After I unlock the quarry missions, there's gonna be a single video for all the quarry missions. And afterwards I'm gonna do all the races. In one video I'm gonna do the races in San Fierro and in Los Santos. These are gonna be in one single video. And in the next video I'm gonna do all the races in Las Venturas. We have two types of races in Las Venturas. Which are probably gonna take me a full episode. What? What happened? It wasn't my fault. He broke the law. Seriously. There was a barrier. He shouldn't have gone past the barrier. And now he's chasing me. Okay, some excitement. Good. But they cannot do anything to me. So there's no excitement still. Ah, stupid mission. Anyway, in one single video, the races in Los Santos in San Fierro. In a separate video, the ones in Las Venturas. With Las Venturas we have the air races and the ground races. So, let me count. Uh, now, in one video, this is one video for side missions. The export imports, that's two videos. The property missions, locations are three videos. The quarry missions, 4, one types of races, 5, and the other types of races, 6. So there's 6 more episodes, including this one, for side missions. And the other ones are gonna be only story missions. I guess you guys are sick, kind of sick of side story missions. Because I have done only that for quite a while now, for a few episodes. But I was waiting for to unlock Las Venturas in order to do these sad missions because some of them, uh, some of them I want to combine them to one, you know. For instance, all the 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 courier missions I wanted to be in one single video, so I had to wait for Las Venturas to unlock Las Venturas in order to do them in one single video. Like for instance, the the stadium events I had to do them in one single video, so I had to wait to unlock Las Venturas and other ones I cannot remember. I can't remember which ones. So yeah, this is it. This is the last destination. Let's start stopping. And level 1 is gonna be completed. Finally, stupid mission. Okay. And... I cannot see the destination. Stupid camera. And... Stop. No. And... Stupid camera, man. <laughs> Come on. Ah, there we go. Okay, finally. So now, you can start the next level. You don't have to do it in a row. You can go safe to your hideout. But I'm gonna start the mission. And I'm not gonna show you... Oh, I have to exit. Ah, uh, Exit. Okay. Start the mission. Okay, so this is level 2. 
the same thing applies here, absolutely the same thing, so you don't have to watch it again, I'm gonna skip it and I'll see you in Sephiro after I complete it, so be right back. And here we go, it has finally been finished and the fog is coming, cue the fog. I'm fine with fog as long as it's not, as long as I'm not recording 50,000 bucks. So this is a good way of making money, but don't. Do not. <laughs> So let's move on to the next thing on the agenda. So let's begin with the gym moves. We have three gym moves we need to learn. One of them is in Los Santos. The next one is right over here in Los Santos. The next one is in San Fierro, right over here. And the last one is in Las Venturas. We have to learn all of these and they are different from each other. So the way to activate it is you have to have muscle. About halfway is enough. And we have to talk to this guy. The more muscle you have, the better. Yo, you wanna learn some new moves? Sure, bro. Okay. So take him on. Take him down. You can press the right mouse button in order to see his health. He has an extremely large amount of health. And I suggest... Well, I cannot suggest it. <laughs> Just keep your... Just avoid getting damage. That's all I can say. Avoid getting damage. The first shot is all it counts. If you hit him the first time, you're guaranteed to hit him all the time afterwards. Or except when this happens. Okay, so that's it. Pay attention and you might learn something. It's not a difficult mission. None of these are difficult missions. Make sure your opponent is down and out. Never give your opponent time to recover. And this is also the hardest one in my opinion. The one Los Santos is the hardest. So that's it for the gym moves. This is what I learned. These are them. What I do is I press right mouse button and the enter key. But I never use gym moves because they're so useless. You can just press the left mouse button. <laughs> like that. Okay, so that's it. Let's move on to Sephiro. Gym number two, the martial arts, which is the easiest one of them all. So let's begin. Where's the dude? Oh, you wish to become a warrior? Yeah. Dragon let's do it. Sausage. I'll break your neck. As you can see, the easiest one you have to take him out of the ring. As easy as that. Absorb with the eyes, young student, and you will learn. Strike if you say so. Like an atomic cobra. Cobra. Nothing clever here, just kick them while they're down. That doesn't tell me anything. Become the avalanche and bury your opponent. And that also doesn't tell me anything. Also, these moves are the best moves in the game, in my opinion. Just look at that, look at the kicks. So many kicks, oh yeah, oh yeah. The easiest one and the... with the best moves. The one with the best moves. So let's move on to the next and last gym moves. And this is the last gym in the game. Elias Venturas. Let's do it. Hey, you wanna learn some new moves? Yeah, sure, sure. It's on now, Dude, me. pay attention. Seriously, what the, what was he doing? Let's do some new kicks. Let's I'm a well dressed maniac, fool! I am. And that's it. Watch this. It'll come in handy. I don't think so. I'm never gonna use it. Rush your opponent and strike fast. Just melee damage in this game is useless. You don't use it usually. You gotta press home your advantage. Just keep piling on the pressure. Don't give your opponent time to fight back. That's good uh, advice, I think. So there we go. The last few moves have been learned and they're pretty bad. So yeah, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.